So I've been hearing from a lot of you around perfectionism. So I'm here to talk about the five ways perfectionism blocks you in your daily life and keeps you from following your purpose. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. So number one, how perfectionism blocks you. You procrastinate. You procrastinate on everything, whether it's little projects or big projects. Like you can't get it perfect. You're like, I'm not even going to start. I'm not going to start my website. I'm not going to post that thing on social media because that picture is not perfect or my words aren't perfect or I'm not going to buy that gift for somebody because I don't know, I don't think it's perfect. And then you miss out on the gift that you wanted to give them, right? You procrastinate. All right, the second way perfectionism gets in the way of daily life is you worry about what everyone else thinks. You're always stressing about what other people think, including the internet. Don't worry about people on the internet and what they're saying to you, including me. You can listen to me about perfectionism, but don't listen to me and my opinion about your life. You should lead your own life. All right, the third way perfectionism gets in the way is you're always late. You're always late. Cause you know what you're doing? You're at home, you're fussing around, you're making sure everything's perfect, whether it's your outfit or everything that you're bringing to get to somebody. Like you're always just making sure it has to be 100% perfect instead of just being like, hey, it's better to be on time. All right, the fourth way perfectionism gets in the way is you are indecisive on even the smallest things, even the littlest things, whether it's like the gift for your mom or you're always, um, you're indecisive about the kind of coffee you're ordering or the food you're gonna have. You're always like hemming and hawing because it's like, is that perfect? Is that exactly what how I want it to be? Is that exactly the right outfit and shirt that I wanna order online? And you're just like kind of hemming and hawing and going through all this decision-making perfectionism. Okay, the fifth way perfectionism gets in the way of your daily life and purpose is that you love to get buried in the details and you never really enjoy. So if you're somebody who's like, say, putting together, I don't know, like you're getting together with your friends on Zoom and you want it to be perfect and then you're always like fussing around the details and the time and making sure everyone has all the ingredients for the thing that you're all making together and then when it's happening, you're like making sure and checking on everybody and then you never actually relax and enjoy yourself perfectionism, right? So that you're in, is the conversation flowing? Is everybody happy? Is everyone having a good time? Are we all tired of being on Zoom? Whatever, right? So how can you start to actually release that perfectionism? And so now that might be your question. How do I stop doing this, Nicole? Well, just being aware that you're doing those things is step number one. Step number two is just helping yourself kind of clear it. And you know me, I'm going to be like, go move your body, go take a walk, go do a little dance party, just get out of your head, get reconnected to yourself. And if you're like, I already do those things, I need more help, ping me and we'll talk. We can talk. Um, but really, for those of you high achievers out there, high achieving women, time to let go of that perfectionism. How can you get yourself to that next stage and get grounded again?